multiple personalities, the mysterious and profound relationship between consciousness and the body. Why can personalities change the structure of the body? Welcome to the Eye of Truth. This time begins with an event that occurred in a consultation room 70 years ago. On a day in 1952, a woman named Eve living in Georgia, USA, was seeing a psychiatrist. Since her student days, she had been suffering from sudden episodes of memory loss, frequently finding herself unable to remember what she had done just a few hours earlier, or recalling the content of the previous day's classes. These episodes were severe enough to interfere with her daily life. In front of the doctor, Eve nervously described her condition, but then tearfully reported an even more bizarre phenomenon, waking up wearing expensive and sexy clothes that she did not recognize owning. However, the next moment, Eve suddenly stopped speaking, lowered her head as if deep in thought. After a while, she lifted her head, looked around with a puzzled expression, and spoke in a completely different tone, give me a cigarette. At this moment, Eve seemed like a different person, exuding confidence and sociability. The doctor, having examined her multiple times before, was already aware of this phenomenon. He had named the first personality Eve White and the subsequent one Eve Black. Therefore, the doctor concluded that there were two personalities existing within Eve's body. During the course of treatment, the doctor discovered a third personality and named her Jane. Jane possessed characteristics of both Eve White and Eve Black, embodying an elegant and intellectual personality. The sitting styles, behaviors, and preferred styles of clothing of the three personalities were markedly different. While these phenomena could potentially be mimicked through acting, the doctor was convinced that Eve's condition was genuine. One reason for this conviction was that Eve Black exhibited allergic reactions, such as itchiness and rashes, when wearing nylon fabrics, whereas Eve White and Jane showed no such allergic symptoms, a fact that was objectively observed. Further investigations revealed various relationships among the three personalities. Eve White was unaware of the other two, Eve Black knew only of Eve White, and Jane was aware of, and had the memories of, all three personalities. This case, which was quite rare in the psychiatric field at the time, was documented by the doctor in a book and later adapted into a movie. Nowadays, doctors diagnose such conditions as dissociative identity disorder, though it is commonly referred to as multiple personality disorder. As you may know, multiple personality disorder is somewhat recognized by the general public, but even with advances in medicine and science, it remains a profoundly mysterious phenomenon. The case we are about to introduce is even more intriguing and mysterious than Eve's story. It not only represents an episode of multiple personality disorder, but also poses deep questions about how human consciousness and the physical body are interconnected. Please stay with us until the end. In 1977, in the state of Ohio, USA, a 22-year-old man named Billy Milligan was arrested on suspicion of armed robbery. The police had expected the perpetrator to be a highly dangerous individual. However, when they arrested Billy, his expression bore no trace of malice, he seemed utterly unaware and did not resist at all. Initially, when officers entered Billy's room for the search, they found signs that multiple individuals had been living there, unfinished paintings, bodybuilding equipment, and books on chemistry, biology, and medicine, to name a few. While the kitchen was kept in a very neat and tidy state, most other rooms were cluttered and dirty. The discovery of the victim's credit cards and other evidence of the crime in the room was a crucial turning point that led to his arrest. It seemed like the resolution of the case, but an odd incident occurred while Billy was being transported to the police station. Though handcuffed in the rear seat of the patrol car, the handcuffs were inexplicably off and placed on his lap upon their arrival at the station. This thoroughly astonished every officer present. Just what sort of man was he? Following weeks of examination by psychiatrists, the true identity of Billy was revealed. It wasn't that many people lived in his room, 
but rather, the answer was that Billy himself hosted multiple personalities. The physicians who delved into this situation initially identified about 10 different personalities, but it was eventually found that the count ascended to 24. I will now introduce some of these characters, who played a major part. Arthur is a 24-year-old Englishman. From the description given, it is understood that Arthur appears to be a quintessential English gentleman, typically seen wearing glasses. Although Billy was born and raised in America, when Arthur's personality takes control, he speaks with an authentic London accent. As the conversation with Arthur continues, it becomes evident that he is both rational and gentlemanly, with a sharp intellect and well-versed in natural sciences such as physics, chemistry, and medicine. Furthermore, Arthur is also capable of writing in Arabic, and the examining doctors were astonished by his high capacity for learning. Reagan is a self-proclaimed Yugoslav, who not only speaks English with a Yugoslav accent but also reads, writes, and converses in Serbian and Croatian as if he were a native speaker. Occasionally, Reagan would make jokes, but none of the doctors could understand them. Later investigations revealed that these were jokes only Yugoslavs would appreciate. Reagan had an in-depth knowledge of weapons and martial arts, which he claimed to have acquired to protect everyone in dangerous situations. The doctors, who constantly monitored Billy's hormone levels, noted that Reagan's appearances were marked by higher hormone secretion than usual. This was presumably because Reagan was always in a combat-ready state. The test results also significantly undermined the possibility that Billy's different personalities were the product of mere acting. Initially, during their communications with Billy, the doctors referred to the different personalities simply as personalities. However, during one conversation, Billy suddenly raised his voice, saying, Please stop using the word personalities, we are humans. This statement was made by a personality named Alan. Alan is an 18-year-old boy with exceptional communication abilities and high artistic talent. It appears that all the paintings in Billy's room were created by Alan. Moreover, Alan is the only right-handed individual among all the personalities and the only one who smokes. Adelana is a beautiful 19-year-old girl with long black hair and large eyes. She is distrustful of humans and sometimes engages in self-harm. Compared to the other personalities, Adelana is much more introverted. However, she is very clean and good at housework. It is speculated that the kitchen in Billy's house was always kept clean because Adelana was in control of the body when cooking. Billy was arrested for robbery, but all the victims were female. According to the victims, he approached them very friendly at first, making them feel like he was a very nice person. But, as soon as they let their guard down, Billy's attitude would suddenly change, becoming aggressive and dangerous. When the doctors confronted Billy about this, he explained that when he lost his job and was in economic hardship, Reagan decided to resort to robbery to protect everyone. Billy would pick out a target woman in the town, then call out Adelana, who would approach the target. Being a woman, Adelana could skillfully lower the target's guard and lure them to secluded places. Once there, Reagan would take over, robbing them of their belongings and money. This method was revealed through the case. Tommy is a 16-year-old boy with brown hair and amber-colored eyes. He is a master of escape, and it was Tommy who managed to remove the handcuffs while in the back of the police car. There were instances when the doctors had Billy wear a straitjacket, but by the next morning, the jacket would be removed and found under his head, serving as a makeshift pillow. Naturally, this was also Tommy's doing. When asked how he could perform such feats, Tommy explained that he could freely manipulate his joints and ligaments to some extent. This is a skill that can be acquired through years of training, but why it was possible only when Tommy emerged remained unclear to the doctors. David is an eight-year-old child, a personality created to absorb all the stress felt by Billy's body. Whenever there is a significant amount of stress, 
David comes forward to take it all in. Once the stress dissipates, David relinquishes control of the body to another personality and goes to sleep. Most of the other personalities are unaware of and cannot feel the stress that David has absorbed during this time. Christina is a three-year-old child and rarely comes forward. However, she was the catalyst for Reagan's emergence. When Billy was still a child, Christina was controlling the body and trying to pick an apple from a tree. But no matter how hard she tried, she couldn't reach the apple and began to cry. At that moment, she heard a man's voice asking, Why are you crying? When she turned around, Reagan was there. This was the first moment Reagan made an appearance. Billy is the original personality of this body. When he was 16 years old, he tried to end his life by jumping off a building. However, in the moment he attempted to jump, Reagan took control of the body and saved Billy's life. Afterward, Arthur, recognizing the danger of such actions by Billy, decided to put Billy to sleep. For the next seven years, Billy remained in this dormant state. Following his arrest for the robbery, the doctors negotiated with Arthur and somehow managed to awaken Billy. His first words upon waking were, Am I alive or am I dead? This reaction was natural since Billy's last memory was of him about to jump off the building. The next moment, finding himself suddenly in an adult's body in a totally unfamiliar place, he was profoundly shocked. The doctors took time to explain the situation to him, but Billy, struggling to accept reality, repeatedly banged his head against the wall in an attempt to end his life again. Therefore, Arthur decided to put Billy to sleep once more. In this dynamic of the various personalities controlling Billy's body, Arthur plays a pivotal role, which is why there's a particular interest in discussing the Arthur personality in more detail. When Billy was a student struggling with a particularly difficult math test, Arthur suddenly appeared for the first time and wrote all the answers for him. The handwriting on the test paper changed dramatically before and after Arthur's appearance, and the sections that differed from Billy's usual handwriting were all correct. The teacher, discovering this fact, suspected Billy of cheating and observed him closely in subsequent tests, but found no evidence of actual cheating. From the moment of his first appearance, Arthur already possessed advanced knowledge, which greatly puzzled the doctors. Was this knowledge something Billy had acquired subconsciously? Do we, as ordinary people, also store various pieces of knowledge in our brains without being aware of it? Further investigation into Arthur revealed that at one point, he became the dominant personality among all others. According to Arthur, the multiple personalities within Billy exist in a space similar to rooms. There is a single spotlight in this room, and standing under this light allows control over Billy's body, with only the active personality retaining memories of that time. Initially unaware of the other personalities, Arthur felt a sense of unease whenever he experienced memory gaps. Through his investigations, he gradually became aware of the other personalities. Sharing this discovery, all personalities became aware of the facts, eventually enabling communication among themselves. This communication between personalities occurs in the form of thought exchange. During these times, Billy's body appears to be deep in thought, with rapid eye movement observed when switching between personalities. This phenomenon, observed during human dreaming, suggests that something is occurring in the deeper layers of consciousness. By sharing the truth with everyone, Arthur assumed a leadership role, gaining the ability to decide which personality comes to the forefront and which is sealed away. It was Arthur's decision to put Billy, the original personality, into a long sleep, and he also sealed away other personalities he disfavored. According to the doctor's investigations, there were over 10 personalities that didn't come out much due to Arthur's sealing. For example, 20-year-old Philip, a con artist with a strong Brooklyn accent and foul mouth, was involved in some criminal activities. After the arrest, Philip broke their rules by revealing the secret of their multiple personalities to the outside, which displeased Arthur, leading to his being sealed away. 
Additionally, 20-year-old Kevin is adept at writing documents, 22-year-old Walter is an Australian hunting expert, 19-year-old April is a Boston-accented woman skilled in sewing and occasionally helps with housework, 18-year-old Samuel is Jewish and the only personality that can recite the Jewish scriptures, 16-year-old Mark, referred to as zombie by the others, is a workaholic who takes over during tedious, simple tasks, and four-year-old Sean, born with a hearing impairment, was the first personality created by Billy. When Billy was four, during a scolding from his mother for breaking a vase, Sean appeared and took the scolding on behalf of Billy. Billy's numerous personalities each had distinct behaviors, memories, skills, and a sense of self-awareness. Furthermore, the diagnosis of Billy as having multiple personalities was not based on his own claims, but on extensive observation and evaluation by psychiatrists. The changes in Billy's behavior, accents, responses, and facial expressions when different personalities controlled his body could not have been replicated through acting. Based on these facts, Billy was ultimately acquitted and began receiving treatment in a hospital. The goal of the treatment was not to eliminate Billy's many personalities, but to integrate them into one unified personality. The treatment took 10 years, during which another new personality emerged. This personality, calling itself the teacher, held the memories of all 23 other personalities and even remembered events from when Billy was one year old. According to the teacher, Billy had formed many separate personalities as a way to escape from the harsh reality of neglect by his parents from birth. After receiving treatment, the teacher became the leading presence, replacing Arthur, and Billy finally achieved a coherent single personality. This accomplishment allowed Billy to return to society. In 2009, at the age of 54, Billy was interviewed and it was revealed that all the personalities still existed within him. According to Billy, the reason he could maintain a single personality was that the teacher constantly worked to keep the other personalities out of the spotlight. However, controlling the other personalities was very challenging, and the teacher struggled with this daily. Billy passed away at the age of 57, but his life story has made the condition of multiple personalities more widely known. Despite this, many aspects of the disorder remain unexplained, and Billy's case continues to serve as a case study for deepening the understanding of the relationship between consciousness and the body. In 1996, Professor Bourne, a psychologist studying Billy's case, noticed a fine detail, whenever switching to the Arthur personality, he always put on glasses. The doctors treating Billy considered this just a trait of the personality, but Professor Bourne speculated that Arthur might genuinely be nearsighted. According to his research, some patients with multiple personalities experience a change in their vision, becoming nearsighted when they switch personalities. Examination of their eyes revealed that the ciliary muscle, which adjusts the lens of the eye for focusing, had contracted. This muscle's contraction, affecting the lens, suggests that the change in personalities can alter even the muscles in the eyes, indicating that the influence of consciousness on the physical body might be greater than anticipated. Similarly, the Luke Medical Center in Chicago, USA, reported a case involving a woman with multiple personalities who was hospitalized for diabetes. Her blood sugar levels dropped to normal only when she switched to a different personality, Detailed examinations showed no physiological abnormalities in her insulin secretion. However, when switching back to the personality hospitalized for diabetes, her body ceased insulin production, causing her blood sugar levels to spike. This suggests that the patient's blood sugar level changes were not due to physiological issues with insulin secretion, but were directly linked to her personality changes. These cases underscore the profound mysteries of the human brain and consciousness. How Billy's numerous personalities mastered various accents, foreign languages, and a wide array of specialized knowledge and skills remains a question. Why does a change in personality lead to changes in physical functions? While research in this area is still ongoing, 
these mysteries might one day be unraveled as evidence of how consciousness can alter reality. Thank you for watching today.